What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Daniela. If you are new, make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. That was kind of a weird intro. I never usually say that, but welcome to my channel. Today's gonna be a little different than usual. I usually do either vlogs or just like I don't know. Honestly, my videos are everywhere, so I can't really say that. I would like to start off by saying I'm sorry I did not get to post last week. Honestly, I got so caught up with so much stuff with school and just overall so many things that I completely forgot to film. And I'm so, 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 so sorry. I'm going to try to get back on track. So hopefully this video makes up for it and I love you guys all so much. So let's get into it because I haven't even ate breakfast and your girl is so hungry right now, like always. <laughs> Probably like two, three days ago, I went to the 99 cent store and I started finding snacks that I was like, ooh, this looks so bomb, I wanna eat it. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna grab a whole bunch of snacks. Mexican, Mexican kinda, I guess, themed or whatever. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I bought all these snacks just for me. <laughs> and I'll tell you guys like what they are, of course. I'm gonna start off by getting my Tampico. You already know, if you've never had Tampico, like, girl, boy, kid, human, person, like, you're missing out. It's like the Mexican version of Sunny D, to be honest. Like, it's pretty much that. So I guess you're not missing out that much. I mean, like, okay. I did ask you guys to ask me questions on Instagram, so that's where I'm gonna be getting all my questions. Ready, ASMR? Let's see if you guys can hear this. You guys probably couldn't. <laughs> Tastes like my childhood, dead ass. I'm not gonna lie, I was indecisive if I wanted to do a Q&A or a story time because I do have a pretty good story time. And if you guys wanna know what it is, let's just say it's pretty much how I got kicked out of high school. And there's a lot that goes into that story. So if you guys wanna know that story or are interested in hearing it, comment that down below and give this video a like and I'll definitely see like, okay girl, you wanna watch this. You wanna see the story. Mmm. All I ate today was oatmeal. So I came with an appetite. I'm really hungry. I got some sabritones, which these, honestly, I'm not such a huge fan of, but I got them just because I was like, eh, it's like the basic, typical, like, little Mexican snack, I guess you can say. So I got hot Cheetos. Those are kind of like the chip area. I also got some nacho cheese for my hot Cheetos, because girl, girl, if you don't eat your hot Cheetos with nacho cheese, then for the candy section, I got these tamarindo, which is like tamarind gummies that are flavored. So it's like watermelon and mango. Bomb. And then I also got pelones. If you've never had any of this stuff, go to the store right after this. And Northgate, Walmart, anywhere, they should have these candies. And let me know if you like them. And then we got these classics over here. Um, this pretty much, if you never had it before, it's a cookie with marshmallow on top. And then it has like a little jelly like... How do you say gomita? Like, I don't know how to say gomita in English. In the meantime, I'm gonna go straight to Instagram. Growing up, honestly, I was not a huge fan of these. I thought they were kind of like dryish, but as I got older, like, I found the value in them. You get me? I've learned to respect the cookie. How about we pile the food up so it could look a little more nice? A little bit more of a decor. I also added this little background here because I felt like my wall was kind of ugly, so enjoy the little background most of your questions are like asking about my dating life so instead of like answering each one like one by one i'll just answer it all together people kept asking me if i'm talking to someone am i dating someone am i in a relationship just to clarify everything i'm not in a relationship i'm still single am i talking to someone um why don't i make more videos like this like literally i'm recording myself eating this is the life i should be living instead of going to college someone asked are you fluent in spanish i would say not anymore Growing up, that was my first language, and I was, I wouldn't say I was an expert at speaking it, but I was pretty good speaking it, and as I started getting older, my parents started learning more English as well, so Spanish kind of got out of the household, and I mean, it's still there, obviously. I'm talking like if it's a person. So I do know how to speak it, but it's not as good as how it was before. Wow, my highlight looks so good right now. Next question, what are you studying? If you haven't watched my SDSU, like, first day of college video, Definitely recommend go watching that. I really add a lot more details when it comes to why I'm going to school and stuff, but pretty much a brief description of what I'm studying. So I went into San Diego State with a business management or marketing major, and I'm gonna change it to psychology so that I can become either a counselor for kids. Overall, just like a psychologist for kids, that's something that I'm very passionate about. But honestly, as like time is coming by too, I'm starting to see different things that I'm super passionate about. I really don't know where these four years are gonna take me, but for right now, I think I'm gonna stick to psychology and we'll see where it goes another common question that I got was like tips for losing weight and it's so funny because I'm gonna talk about it trust me 
but I'm like eating so much junk food right now talking about how to lose weight <laughs> So it's so ironic. I've definitely cut my portions down a lot. I used to eat a lot like I've, I'm pretty shocked on how much I used to eat Your girl had an appetite when it came to my last weight loss. I really was super strict on myself I cut down all the carbs. I cut down all the sugars when it came to like my drinks I only drink water. I only eat pretty much like what I needed to eat which is great Don't get me wrong if that's what you like to do perfect that works for you But that's why I gained all my weight back because since I was so strict on myself I really got back on eating fast food so fast because I missed it and I was like, oh my god I've lost some pounds like I'll just eat a little bit and then when I would eat a little bit It would be a lot of it. If this sounds a little confusing Just think about it like if you restrict yourself from something that you love for so long when you get the chance to get it You're gonna go all over it. You get what I mean? So that's why this time coming around losing weight I'm very just like mellow on myself and doing what my body wants to do and what I mentally feel like doing and it seems like it's working I mean, it's definitely taking a longer process I've lost a total of like 35 pounds in like six months but it's totally okay because losing weight it's at your own pace it's at nobody else's pace but your own girl but your own i'm not gonna finish all this stuff but i will eat these hot cheetos <laughs> all right so my hot cheetos usually i i'm not that extra and i don't usually get the cheese but today i found it necessary now that i think about it i'm probably not even gonna finish like half this stuff and by finish i mean like even open it so the next question that i'm gonna answer is how do you deal with your insecurities and what makes you feel confident and stay confident? Okay, so when it comes to confidence, you guys, my biggest advice would honestly be, and this is probably the most basic advice I can give right now, but it's honestly f what people say. You see me sometimes like on Snapchat and Instagram, I wear like shirts that are tucked in my pants or just not crop tops, but just kind of short shirts. And honestly, like the truth thing behind those pictures, I am a little bit self-conscious sometimes because I do catch people staring at me, staring at my little belly. But at the same time, I look at myself in the mirror and I'm just like, damn girl, like, them you look good there are millions of opinions in this world and the only one that should matter when it comes to you and your body is your own so do not listen to anybody else if you like a cute top and it's low-key a crop top or you want to tuck it in do it do it nobody should ever stop you and if people are looking at you weird or looking at your belly or just like oh what is that girl wearing you just look at them and think F you like f you i look bomb next question what is your dream travel destination somewhere i've always wanted to go ever since i was probably in elementary it's so random my dream place was always to go to alaska <laughs> what <laughs> i know the reason why i've always wanted to go to alaska is to see the northern lights it's very tricky to go see the northern lights like you have to go in a specific season specific date specific time like everything matters when it comes to watching the northern lights so bomb Ooh, i like this question what was your most loved spanish song when you were little oof okay so i have a lot okay i was such a huge fan of rebelde I have a picture of myself in those uniforms. I wore that entire uniform one time. I think my cousin or my sister bought it for me and I was obsessed. All their songs, childhood songs right there. This is literally my cheat day, even though I kind of had one yesterday too. You guys, I really don't know how I'm gonna end up finishing this video because I just keep eating. How do you get over a breakup and any tips for when you're going through a breakup? Start focusing on yourself, do things that you love, really take time and effort to make sure you're a hundred percent healed when you're trying to talk to someone new because that can also interact really bad when you're trying to date somebody new and please 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 do not get a rebound because <laughs> that's just gonna not make anything better for any of you guys not only would you be wasting someone's time but you would be also wasting your own valuable time so that's the tea sis the reason why i'm not answering so many questions i feel like is because there are a lot of the same question to be honest like the top three are if i'm dating anyone <laughs> and then it's like workout routines and then it's breakup advice those are kind of like the three topics that i get a lot asked about which i don't mind talking about to be honest i love talking about each one because i can genuinely give advice but it kind of sucks for you guys because you guys don't really see like a variety of questions you know how did your mom find out you started taking birth control that's a funny story. Pretty much how she found out is we had to go to the hospital for me due to some 
something that happened to me and I think I changed into a robe or something I had scars like on my legs and on my arms because I had fell really hard the night before and that's why I kind of went into the hospital for pretty much she was like oh my god Daniela like why do you have so much scars and scabs like you look like you're on drugs because you know like when people are like getting off drugs they start getting scabby and stuff and I was like oh my gosh mom I could literally explain each one like I'm fine like I'm not doing drugs so she pointed at my arm which is that's the birth control that I got it was the implant the next one on and she's like where'd you get that and I was like <laughs> and I'm like do you want me to be honest with you and she was like yeah and I was like I was on birth control and she just was just like <laughs> She literally has such a straight face and I pretty much told her just straight up like and I was being honest with her She didn't like the idea that I was on it, but she accepted it You know, I don't have it anymore just because to be honest it made me gain a lot of weight and I had such a bad experience being on it But um, yeah, that's pretty much how she found out. That's kind of like all the questions that I really got I mean, I got I definitely got more questions, but like I said a hundred times They're a lot of the same thing. So I think I answered them good. I honestly really love making videos like this and I really love to talk to you guys about body positivity, workouts, baking. I, I just honestly love having the platform to be able to show you guys and express what I love and what I'm passionate about and I think it's so crazy and so cool that people actually genuinely like watching me because of it so thank you guys so much for that I really want to continue this YouTube journey and continue making videos and stuff even if it's so hard or it's too much on my plate I'm seriously gonna push myself to do it because it's something I love doing and honestly it's kind of like a positive distraction from school besides with the gym and um I don't know I just love you guys so much thank you guys so much for the support and it's crazy how much we've grown from what I think I started I think two months ago from then to now I never would have expected this much love and support I think it's crazy I think we're at 12,000 right now let me check if we reached 12k oh my god we did we hit 12,000 subscribers what the crazy to me this is honestly like I'm saying like it's just so crazy to me right now I was trying to express to you guys how much I love doing this and how much like I admire the love you guys give to me and I did not expect to hit 12,000 right now so this is all a shock holy sh I know for some people 12,000 may not seem a lot and it may seem like girl you're such a small youtuber but for a girl who never even thought of being able to do YouTube being able to have a platform with 12,000 people like Holy sh do you guys understand how much 12,000 people is? Like, that's a lot of people. And I'm grateful for each one of you guys. I swear to God, I'm sending all my love to you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Turn on your post notifications. And I'll see you next time.